Who is your name? Huh? Who is your name? My name is Johnny. What's yours? Uh, pain in the butt. <laughs> So what are you doing here at Mazookas? Huh? Mazookas. Yeah. So what are you doing here in the hospital? I do it Friday mornings. Every Friday morning? Yeah. What do you do? Well, we uh, wheelchair the patients in, wheel the patients out, and deliver envelopes, bring people to the beauty shop, deliver envelopes all the time. A lot of fun. How many volunteers is there here? Do you know? No, I don't. There's, there's, there's volunteers on every floor. Okay. There's always one, two, four, five. There's only four of us here every Saturday, Friday morning. And uh, I mean, some morning, some days there's four or five here. I, I, Fred, how many volunteers would there be in the hospital? Any idea? Oh my God, there's hundreds. How many? Because they're all different places, mm -hmm. eh? All different places? You know, like up in pediatrics, and they're up in the where the older people are helping them out and, and helping we're, with the kids. well over a hundred though, for sure. Oh shit, yes. And out in day surgery, there's people that working down there, there's somebody down in the merge. So it's a good way to pass, pass the time, right? That's why this guy's here. But it's, it's a good way to pass the time, right? If you're, re we're retired, so yeah. uh, we, we find, I come in here two half days a week and uh, get you out of the house and you meet a lot of people. Which you do. Yeah, well, see, I'm not from here. Where are you I'm, from? I moved, well, I was living in Ontario before I come here, born in Newfoundland. But when I came here, I knew two people, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. And now I know a lot of people. I also volunteer at the, at the kitchen. There's so you uh, meet, meet the people kitchen? there. Yeah. And that's why I noticed that uh, when uh, I spend Christmas at the uh, soup kitchen, yeah. First time I ever spent Christmas in Fredericton because my uncle was sick. I didn't want to go down because uh, he had a heart, heart operation. But anyway, a lot of people would volunteer at the soup kitchen for on Christmas Day yeah. just to get out. You know, they they Isn't were nice? alone. They were alone, and that's what. Uh, so how many people would you say that come through these doors in, in a day? That's in the a, kitchen? No, here. Oh, cheap as I would eh? know. I mean. On a good day, like the day is a stormy day, they're all coming for blood work. Sometimes that's blocked there. They could probably do three or four hundred, and, and maybe more, and just blood work in the morning. Must be thousands and thousands of coaches. In a lot of cities, uh, Charlie, you don't have to go to the hospital to get blood work. You go to the clinics, right? Eh? Yeah. And you go, like I lived in Ontario, we used to go to the clinic for blood work. X-rays were downstairs, everything in the clinic. Yep. But here, everything is done at the hospital. Which maybe is good. It's good. Any last word, you? Have a good day, Charlie. That's telling me politely to get the hell out of here. Oh, no, okay. I didn't say that at all. <laughs> I just have a good day. You keep up the good work. Take care, Charlie.